it's not for an audition for the Wiggles, but um, I'm just going to say that based on what we all witnessed just now, I think everybody in this room just won. So give a great, give, break a big round of applause. <laughs> As they get back to their places, uh, I said a few minutes ago that uh, part of what makes this show uh, a unique one for us is that we get to tell you some of the stories or inspiration behind some of our music. And I want to do that, but before I do, I want to find out who's here in the room with us. So, uh, let me hear you if you're in sixth grade. Uh, let's see, let me hear you if you're in seventh grade. Okay. Uh, where's the eighth grade? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump straight to the top, so get ready here. I need to hear you if you're a senior. Yeah! All right, we'll get there. All right, how about the juniors? Yeah! Nice. Uh, where are the freshmen? Yeah! <laughs> awesome, I'm glad you guys are out here. <laughs> God, did somebody just say kill him? <laughs> Seriously, y'all? Yeah, now hold on, I saved you for last on purpose, so don't let me down now. All right, where are the sophomores at? All right, there we go. <laughs> now, okay, I did, for real, I did save you for last on purpose because the story I'm about to tell you takes place when I was a sophomore in college. So when I was a sophomore in college, I decided with a group of people uh, to take a trip for spring break. Okay, now I'm originally from the state of Pennsylvania, all right? And if I'm being honest, it's a nice enough state and all, but I hate winter. I don't like being cold, I don't like shoveling snow, like none of that's my thing, right? So we decided we were gonna go where pretty much everybody else goes for spring break, Florida, all right? And I'm just saying going from cold, wintry, kind of nasty Pennsylvania at the time, to warm, springtime, sunshiny Florida, it was a great choice, all right? Now, we took a road trip. We got a 15-passenger van. We drove down the highway. We arrived in Florida. We stayed at a campground in this open-air, screened-in, pavilion-type building. We slept in hammocks the whole week, not too far from a pond with a resident Florida alligator. It was a great week. Now, fast forward to the end of the week. So, last night in Florida, we decided we were going to spend part of our time at a place called Ron John Surf Shop. Right? It's kind of a famous beach store. They've got snorkeling gear and surf gear, a lot of stuff to look at. It's a touristy kind of place. So, we spent our time there, and it was time to leave. So, we're walking outside, and as we get out there, up ahead of us, we saw one of our friends. Her name is Polly, and as we got closer, we realized that she was crying. So we tried to find what's going on. Well, it turns out while we were inside, she, knowing that we were heading back to cold, wintry Pennsylvania the next day and seeing how beautiful it was outside, she decided she just wanted to enjoy the weather one more night, right? Just have some downtime, just relax a little bit. And while she was out there, this jerk decided he would say some things, uh, say some inappropriate things to her. Uh, he basically uh, saw a girl standing by him van minding her own business and he thought it would be a great choice to walk up and using words that I can't say here, comment on her appearance. Uh, he, he basically disrespected her so badly that, that she felt like nothing. So my gut reaction was to go after that guy. And I, <laughs> some of you girls are like, oh, that's cute. And some of you guys are like, yeah, that's cute. My little brother in third grade could take you. And <laughs> we're well, probably right, but that's beside the point, okay? So uh, we did not go after that guy. That's not what we're about. But some people might look at that little situation and they might be tempted to think, what big deal? Like, that guy didn't do anything. He just said something to her. So, so why is she sad about this? Why are you upset about it? Why don't y'all just get over it? Well, that guy did not see the Polly that we all knew. Right? He didn't see this amazing person who's a friend and a sister and a college student who's studying to be a teacher. He didn't see any of that. All he saw was how society or whoever might label her based on her appearance. And he decided to treat her as nothing more than that. And that's why we were upset. As I thought about it a little more, what dawned on me was, man, how many times do we all act just like that guy? Like, like maybe not exactly, but how many times do we get caught up in assuming things about people based on what we see or what somebody else said about them before we ever get to know them? And too often in those times, we forget that we have an opportunity to choose to treat people as more than what we see. Like we can choose to treat someone as more than a straight A student or more than a straight D student or more than a popular guy, or more than an unpopular person. Or in the case of my friend Polly, as more than something just based on her appearance. We can choose to do better than that. But this goes another way too. I mean, think about this for a second. What if Polly actually bought into what that guy said? What if she believed? Or what if I believed every negative thing that anyone's ever said about me? 
Right, what, what if you believed everything that social media, whoever told you, should be, or should do, or should think? Like, there are people in this room right now, you've already been given a name, or you've had a label put on your life, and it's happened so much and so often that even if it's not true, you're starting to question whether or not they might be right. But here's the truth. You are more than any label anybody can put on you. I am more than any negative thing anyone's ever said about me. And we can all choose to move past those surface things to something far deeper and far richer every day as we encounter the people around us. We can get off the sidelines and be a part of the solution instead of part of the problem. That's the opportunity we have. That's what we can choose. And that's what this song's about. It's called Waking Up.